Hello, my name is Robin Clark. My friends call me Charlie, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm called Charlie now, along with something else that is going to really give you something to talk about, and it's going to change your life. Um, so bear with me on this video. Now it's going to be a little bit different than the last three. This one's not going to be controversial like the other ones were. It's going to be more heartfelt. And I think a lot of um, my viewers are going to be able to really um, resonate with this video. And it's about reinventing yourself. And that's where I am right now. I'm in a place of reinventing myself. And what am I going to do in the next chapter of my life, the next 50 years? I have had friends and acquaintances of friends that have come up to me and they have said, do you know how lucky you are? You are so lucky. Do you know how many people wish they could walk in your shoes? You have no parents. They're gone. You have no responsibility to them. You have no husband. You are free to do whatever you want to do, and your children are gone. They've flown the coop. They're off on their own journey, successful and happy. So this is all about you now. Enjoy it. Don't squander it. And the more I have gone on in life, after everything has happened to me, I've realized that after talking to a lot of people, I'm, I'm not in this boat alone. There are a lot of people in this age group. I'm 58 and graduated high school in 1980. And there are a lot of people that are trying to reinvent themselves. Now, whether it's with the same type of a foundation that I have, um, you know, through loss, or you are now changing careers, or maybe found yourself without a career, you're trying to figure out what to do. You know, we go through life wearing all these hats. And these hats really kind of identify um, us. At least we look at these hats to identify us. And, and I, I know this to be true because when you go to a social gathering and someone doesn't know you, they come up to you and they say, hey, Charlie, uh, nice to meet you. So what do you do? And the very first thing we do is start describing these hats. Now, I've worn a scared little girl hat and a victim hat, a cheerleader hat, a college hat, a wife hat, a mom hat, an entrepreneur hat, then a divorcee hat, then swung right around and wore the hat, wife hat again. And I just recently put my widow hat away. And now I find myself with no hat. And how do you navigate life with no hat when that's all we ever identified with is these hats that we wore? Now it's the same thing with, you know, you that are changing your careers. I've been a nurse for 35 years and I just don't want to do it anymore. It's exhausting work. It's changed so much over the years and I just don't want to do it. So now I'm trying to figure that out. And how many of you are out there in the same, can say the same thing? What do I want to do? So here you are standing at this crossroad with these bags packed and you're, standing in front of this big post with all these arrows going in all these different directions and you start at the top and you get to the bottom and it says just pick one just do it quit procrastinating so you gotta make that decision what is it gonna be and and it's a very dis difficult decision to make and this is what um the something to talk about part of this video i had a girlfriend come over and we're sitting there on the couch drinking a glass of wine and she says you want your life to change? You want your life to get better? You're gonna to have to move. Because right now, where you're living and this last 20, 30 years of your life has been nothing but grief. So it's time to up and move. There are places on this planet that do not support you. And there are places on the planet that do. Figure that out and move to that place, go to that place, visit that place, and figure out and feel what it's like to be where you're supposed to be. She went on to tell me how this happened to her. She was living um, abroad, came to the United States. Everything just fell apart until she met an astrocartographer and her life changed. So she writes this word astrocartography down on a piece of paper and she hands it to me. 
Now this is something to think about and some of you might be saying, oh, this is the direction she's going on this video. Bear with me for a minute. It's very interesting. Now this isn't like reading your astrological, you know, uh, sign in the newspaper, in the local generic newspaper. No, this is something different. So what is astrocartography? When you were born, the moment that you take your took your first breath, your the energy of your soul, which we know to be a pure energy, the energy of your soul at the moment of your first breath connected to the celestial energy of each planet in their set position at that moment. You connected with that energy and that energy at that exact moment overlaid the energy of the earth's grid, which is the ley lines. So your energy connected with the energy above and connected with the energy below and created a grid on the planet that represents just you. Now what happened at that moment was 40 lines were created on the earth. These lines over map, mapping the earth represent places on the earth where you're going to find success, happiness, financial stability, um, abundance and creativity, or places on the planet where you're going to find ill health and sorrow and loneliness and uh, blight and failure. So she said, you want to know where you belong, where you're going to find all this happiness that you, you know, are looking for now? or the changes in abundance that you want, go see an astrocartographer. So I thought, you know, I, I contemplated that for a long time. I got on the computer, I looked it up. It was quite interesting. I encourage you to do the same. And um, I went to an astrocartographer and he told me that the only place on this planet that I belonged was in Greece. So a lot of you know that I went to Greece and this is the reason why I went to Greece because I was going to find happiness, love, abundance, and creativity, and I was gonna have a sense of truly belonging there. Life was gonna be epic and effortless. And trust me, when I went to Greece by myself, which I kind of found interesting because I've on my bucket list, I've always wanted to go to the island of Ikaria. It's a blue zone where everyone lives to be over a hundred. And I wanted to kind of hobnob with the hundred year olds because I, I love the centurions and um, figure out what that's all about. So to find out that I belonged in Greece on one hand was quite exciting. On, on the other hand, it was kind of depressing because, you know, my family all lives here, but I was also told I was a unique case and um, almost was called a stumped case. But he said, let's, um, you know, go to Greece, see how it feels, come back and tell me about it. I cannot explain to you the amount of synchronicities and connections that happened to me in Greece. It was epic and it was effortless. I met people on a daily basis that said to me, I don't know how many times, have we met before? I feel like I know you. I have eight contacts to go back to that have opened up their, their um, homes to me and I have a job waiting. It was unbelievable how great it felt to be in a place that I belonged. Now, I'm not saying that this is a place that you need to move to, but what if you, if you have to, uh, if you're going on a vacation this year, wouldn't it be nice to go on a vacation to a place that's going to give you the most powerful and positive energy that it's going to be a vacation of a lifetime or a honeymoon or a second honeymoon? Wouldn't it be nice to know that there's a place on this planet that is that when you show up, it's going to be epic and effortless and it's going to be perfect? So if you want to find uh, financial stability and a great job, the astrocartographer will tell you where on this planet that you will find that. You want to find love and happiness and a family connection? There's a line for that. You want to find um, a, you know, abundance and creativity? There's a line for that. But there's also lines for great grief, ill health, failure, 
blight. And so there is a possibility that some of you, if every door that's open is closed, if every project that you start is a failure, if every time you turn around you feel like you're standing in quicksand and you can't move forward, maybe it's because you're in the wrong place. Maybe calling an astro photographer, which there's many of them on the internet, go to the websites, look and see which one connects with you. It's very inexpensive and it's 30 to 30 minutes to an hour out of your time on the phone to find out where on this planet do you belong? Where on this planet are you going to find all the things that you want your next chapter to be abundant in? Now, when I went to Greece and I was told by my astro cartographer many, many, many things, I decided that the first 50 years of my life, I went by the name of Robin and Robin means angel and I want to go through the next 50 years with a different name and the name I came up with was Charlie and that came to me in a very special way and Charlie means freedom so I feel if you get to this place that you are so lucky at and you want to find how to move forward and get past that fork in the road and you want to start your next chapter brand new, then see an astro cartographer, call an astro cartographer and see how your life changes or your vacation changes and becomes epic and effortless. Something to think about. Charlie out.